Hello boys and girls, happy 4th of July and welcome to the latest update of Cosmic Aliens. The version that I have for you today is work in progress version 12 and today is July 4th and let's see what's new and improved and what's been added. Ready Player One, well that's new. Um, you're going to see some other new features here in just a minute. You may notice now the game is blinking and I've made a um, I don't know if I'll call this an executive decision, but a test decision to disable the double buffering um, and to make things go a little bit faster. So right now I'm not doing any type of page copies and you're going to see everything kind of get erased and redrawn. Uh, as I was experimenting with this at the time, I didn't hate it. I'm still, I'm not sure if I'm going to hate it because the blinking does kind of bother me. It does make it look a little bit more low rent. I mean, I know it's in basic, I know it's slow, but the one nice thing I had before was a little bit of polish where you never saw anything blinking on screen. So that decision's still out. Another thing you might notice is that UFOs now fly across the screen. Uh, this was in the original Cosmic Aliens, which obviously is inspired by Space Invaders. UFOs were in Space Invaders, and so they're in here. Um, so the fact that they appear on screen is new. When you shoot them, you get points. And not only do you get points, but I've actually got it to where you will see the points appear on screen right in the spot where you hit the alien. So whatever the random bonus point value was determined for this alien, you will see that number pop up on screen. So I will see if I can um, hit an alien here. Come on, big money. There we go. So that one got me 800 points. And that gets immediately added to your score. So um, Ready Player One as a little intro is new. UFOs are new. Seeing the UFO score on screen is new. When I shoot the last alien, you're also going to see a little message that's going to say wave complete and you're gonna get a wave complete bonus. So I should be just a shot away from there. I've also added the ability to earn an extra life. All right, so there's my wave complete bonus. I'm starting a new wave. Each new wave, the graphic for the alien will change. I've got eight different designs for the alien objects and it will cycle through all eight of those. So now I'm on wave two, I'm seeing alien design number two. Um, so wave complete bonus is a new feature. So it's 100 points times your wave number. So wave one, you get a 100 point bonus. Wave two, you'll get 200 points, etc. And the last thing I added today was the ability to earn an extra life. So for right now, and these numbers might change, but for every 3000 points, you'll get an extra life. And right now I haven't lost any ships. So let me lose a ship. Okay, see my ships just went down to two because I got hit by a bomb. Um, there is no game over sequence yet. Oh, another thing I added to is the ability to refire. It is not rapid fire, but the way, the way it was before when your shot was in motion, you could not shoot again until the shot left the screen. I've now added the ability for you to reshoot. So if you get to a point where your laser beam is just going nowhere, then you can hit the fire button again and start over. So it's not really rapid fire because if I hold it down, it's not going to go anywhere. But 50 more points and I should get an extra life, which is another new feature. I've got to fix that exclamation point. So I got an extra life. Let me see if I can get through one more wave and we'll end this video. So yeah, I've been working on this almost nonstop for two days now. Just tweaking, adding, testing, refining. Um, and this is now probably one of the most robust <laughs> versions of the game as far as this being a game now um, to date. I'm pretty content with it. I think there's one still small glitch in here where every now and then 
if an alien hits me, he, there might be a ghost alien image on screen that doesn't disappear. I have not been able to figure that one out. What I was doing to fix that before was every time I, um, every time you shot an alien when I was using the double buffering, I would just clear the whole screen because I couldn't figure out where it was. Now that I'm not clearing the screen, under certain circumstances, when an alien hits me and only when he hits me, not when I hit them, but when they dive bomb into me, I will find myself sometimes with a ghost alien on screen. Um, Let's see if we can clear one more wave here. Wave complete bonus 200. All right, so this is the game so far. Uh, we're on version 12. Today is July 4th, 2018. I am kind of pleased with the progress. I'm finding myself dealing with all of the frustrations of the speed of basic, interpreted basic. Um, and the fact I haven't programmed in since the 90s so just um, you know I'm sure things will get a little more polished over time however it's never going to be silky smooth being a basic program but that's okay this isn't the end of the journey this is only the beginning this is kind of a proof of concept just getting me back into the fray of making things um, I've already come up with a lot of ideas that um, we're not even in the original um, trying to implement as many features of the original as possible right now this looks um, plays very similar to the original the next thing I'm going to add probably tomorrow is going to be the ability to die uh, a game over slash a track screen will be available hopefully tomorrow and then the next round of the game um, which was also in the original is an asteroid shower which used to happen about every three waves you would go to an asteroid shower now um, in the original version I was able to shoot the asteroids and when I shot the asteroid my bullet would just stop because they were invincible um, with how I have this game designed right now graphically and just due to the lack of speed I'm not going to be able to effectively achieve that to where I can't shoot the asteroid so I'm gonna just redesign the asteroid phase to be more of an obstacle course where you just have to dodge them you're not gonna be able to shoot at all but I think I will have some power-ups that you can try to catch like maybe a, uh, an extra life or something like that so um, maybe uh, because just to to, in, to uh, implement the um, collision detection and the, the shots deflecting off of the falling rocks is just going to be way too much to do with the speed of um, of this you know computer uh, but other than that this is the game so far like I say I'm very content almost pleased with where it's going the part I'm not pleased about is just <laughs> looking at the realization of what I can do in basic but it's just going to motivate me to make this as good as I can make it and um, move on to learning more platforms too. So uh, enjoy this preview of Cosmic Aliens version 12. Today is July 4th, 2018. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.